So yeah. So the first thing, but because we are at the Strico pool, the first thing we need to make sure is that we identify our landmarks. So I've seen the valve; it's distant from the valve, and I've was now looking at the or searching for the complete circumference of the appendicular or orifice because the lesion is abutting or maybe invading the appendicular Xander, orifice. Xander, I was... can't, I can't see a polyp. So, but uh, Xander, there was another question. You were um, ahead of the of the story, <laughs> so you were looking at the orifice. But there was a question before that. Everybody, before they go to sleep, we want to know if oh, yeah, they, know yeah. they have a polyp at the appendix orifice. What yeah. do we want to know? If she still has an appendix yeah. and she has had no appendicectomy, so she has, in fact, an appendix. Okay. Can you see oh. the polyp now, David? Yeah, I can see it much better now. So, yeah. Xander, if you just leave it there, because actually it's very, very hard to see. I think we can all agree, almost impossible to see in white light. So just pause it for a blink assessment um, yeah. in, in, in MBI. In this case, in the majority of cases, your blink assessment is in white light, right? Because that's when you find yeah. something. But here, you can't see it in white light, so it's better to do it in MBI. Right. So for, for us, and we'll go into blink impression later, but it is something that uh, develops as you see lots of polyps. Mm -hmm. When you just have that feeling, is it cancer or not? And we're not talking about, is it uh, serrated? We're not talking about, is it tuber adenoma? Is it hybrid? We're just saying, is it cancer? And we'll explain how we think that's made up. But my blink impression here for cancer is, is that it definitely isn't. And probably yeah. you will have the same response. It's still above the appendix. Oh, okay. Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, I thought that's I would. So, but I mean... Yeah, it's far too big, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have to have Roland, your mic is on, eh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. No, David. I think it is. Don't, but don't you think it's too big? Um, no, you do, yeah. I agree with you, David. If you, you reduce the size of the snare by closing a little bit and take a bit of the gas out, that will fall, the, the left hand side will fall into place. Agree with that. Agree with that. No, 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 no. Don't take the snare in. You're in a great position. You just have to control it more. And the control comes from suction. The control comes from maybe even underwater. You could think about underwater for this. That's not a bad idea, I think. You could. You need to control the snare better. And Santa, this is a great one for you. And it's great television because if you can do it, everyone's going to cheer at the end, right? So the right mm -hmm. side of the snare is perfect. Oh. The left side needs to be more on the thing and as john says if you suction probably it's just going to fall into place and then you need to push the scope in to assure that bottom v closes down and if you want to use underwater please use underwater let us also say um we have a very, just sorry, one... so that is something yeah that just happens with with these snares so if let's not like yeah, let's just appreciate that that is the way the physics right. of the snare works. Xander, and... you got to, so Xander, you're losing the position. Your V is yeah. not yeah. in the right place anymore. So in a V, no, 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 yeah, push it out a bit, push it out a bit. That's it, right. Now the V, push it out, a little, right. No, push it out, good. So the V is perfect now, right? Now right. let the let the suction control it. I, uh, John, I think the left side will slip anyway. So I think it's going to be all right. Do you think? I agree. Yeah, if you just close now, just close, just close, close, close. Yeah. <laughs> close. Watch the left side. Close. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, That's one more time. Come on. 